Okay, so maybe that's a little dramatic, but uh, a new wave of EX raid passes just went out, and they're on December 25th, a very important day for many people around the world. It's Christmas. Niantic has some EX raids scheduled on Christmas. I, I know the system's probably automated, but you would think someone would have the sense to say, oh, the next wave of passes is going to go out for Christmas. And I understand not everyone celebrates Christmas, and some people might actually be able to raid on Christmas, but there's a pretty good chance that at least half of the people who received EX raid invites for Christmas will be celebrating with family, out of town, visiting other family, um, just unable to raid on Christmas, which brings up the question, one, should there be a decline option for EX raids? I think it would be a good idea if uh, when you get your EX raid pass, you can immediately say whether or not you'll be able to attend. And if enough people decline, the raid gets canceled or rescheduled. Right now there's a system built in where if a raid gets canceled for whatever reason, you do get premium raid passes and you get Stardust for it. And I have a feeling some of these Christmas raids are probably gonna get canceled. So if you got one and you can't make it, I would probably like write to Niantic support saying, why did you schedule this raid for the middle of the day on Christmas? On top of that, there are also some reports of some of these raids taking place at locations that are inaccessible. For example, a mall that's closed on Christmas. So the EX raid system, as if it needed any more bad press, has now sent out invites on probably one of the biggest global holidays of the year. So really, I think it just goes to show that the EX raid system still needs a little bit of work. And recently, the Silk Road did actually do a short study after Niantic posted um, more clear instructions, uh, requirements for earning an EX raid invitation. And here's what we found. Well, not we, the Silk research team. Shout out to them. Again, please check out the Silk Road's Nest Atlas, the subreddit, send them some support because they're doing a lot for this community. Now, their findings showed that 53% of all EX raids are happening at gyms in parks, 31% of EX raids are happening at sponsored gyms, and then beyond that, at about 10% or less each, you have universities or schools, statues or monuments, churches, other, and don't really fall into any of the previously mentioned categories. EX raids max out at 40 invitations, meaning for each EX raid, a maximum of four, well, that's exactly what it means. 40 people will get invited to each raid. Now the Silk Road study found that out of 245 participants, only 31 had gold gym badges at their EX raid gym. 110 had silver badges and surprisingly 104, almost 45% had bronze badges at the gym they were invited to. Now this kind of makes sense because if only gold badges got invited, then they would continue to get invited over and over again. So they do kind of need to include lower badges, but maybe not at these ratios. And of course, almost 45% having bronze badges raises a little bit of concern that it really doesn't matter too much what your badge level is for the gym, because one raid at a gym will get you a bronze badge. I think one sort of encouraging piece of data here is that seven out of 10 people who are invited are getting their first EX raid invite. During the beta phase, we saw the same people getting them over and over again. But now it seems like new players are actually getting invited to EX raids, so that's one positive thing. But again, keep in mind, 40 invites per EX raid, invites going out once a week, it will take a while for everyone to get an EX raid invite. And obviously the system is not perfect, it just sent out invites for Christmas. Brandon Tan, who's done 3,000 legendary raids, still does not have an EX raid invite. But if you want to read this full study, there's a lot of interesting data here. I'll link to that. It's on the Silk Road's website. Check it out in the description. Uh, and for the rest of this video, I'm just trying to catch up on edits. So enjoy a travel vlog from the Philippines.
last day here in Alaminos, and let me just say, YouTube, don't demonetize me for my shirt. I'm just trying to support a creator that you demonetized. Anyway, out for a nice morning walk here at the wharf. I was hoping to start it off with a shiny Magikarp, but that's not gonna happen today. <sighs> feels so much better out here. Early in the morning before it gets hot and humid, grab some breakfast, head back and edit, and then another six to seven, maybe eight hour bus ride back to Manila. Ooh. All right, all right. A couple spawns right here. You know, I've realized on this trip, as I've been trying to make time to see family, to upload as many videos about Gen 3 as possible, struggling with the unbelievably slow internet out here in the province. Um, I've realized that there's a very loud boat passing by. I've realized really that there is a big difference between travel and vacation. You know, as long as I have my camera with me, it's travel, it's work, it's not vacation. You know, there was a lot more of the Philippines that I wanted to see, and with Gen 3 launching, I didn't really have time to do that. And honestly, that's totally fine. I mean, I feel so lucky to be able to travel for work, and I just wanna say again, thank you to everyone who has continued watching and supporting the channel, even through the times when there wasn't a lot going on in Pokemon Go. It is absolutely because of you that this type of work is possible for me, so. As I sit here, enjoying my last <sighs> relaxing breakfast in the province, in the Philippines, in the city where my grandmother grew up, I just want to say again, thank you for all the support. This is a quick lesson in how to eat like a Filipino. Fork, spoon. Use your spoon to cut things. Use your fork to push things onto your spoon. Enjoy. Fifteen minute stop. Fifteen. Fifteen minute stop here in Tarlock. Again, look at this insane bus stop spawn cluster. Crazy. Um, believe it or not, I haven't caught a wormhole yet. So this will be Pokedex wormhole right here. And there's also a bee drill, which I'm gonna go for. I guess I could have put a lucky egg on. I don't know. Getting back in the bus in six minutes anyway. Wurmple in the decks, another one right here. You know, actually, if I had pineapped both of these, I could have evolved one right away. But again, not really in a rush. 
Not rushing to complete my Gen 3 Pokedex. The only Pokemon I'm really using Pineapp Berries on at this point are Sceptile, Ralts. Probably Sceptile and Ralts. Maybe Shroomish. Maybe Torchic. Oh, I lost the Beedrill. Alright, I'm gonna walk around, stretch my legs, clean up the rest of this spawn. Thank you. More snacks. I got Ensamata. It's my favorite Filipino dessert pastry growing up. Sounds weird if you've never had it before. Sugar. And cheese. Believe me, it's delicious. place to hatch eggs. Also a good place to run an incense. Lots of them left. Also this is my first time seeing the wind animation in game. Although it's still cloudy. It's a dominant weather. Mike's on this time. him to the actual pickup point at the terminal. Might be faster for me to just get out and walk. I had I had given up on ho -Oh raids, but there's one hatching in five minutes and I already have an Uber on the way. And it's so close. Maybe he'll take me there instead. Well, that was a wild ride home. Uh, missed another ho -Oh raid. There was a wild Ralts. First time I've seen that on the nearby. Uh, did catch a Hariyama, so that was cool. And hatched a, a Skitty. New Pokedex entry. I guess this is it for ho -Oh. Gonna have dinner with the family now, and then he flies away in the middle of the night tonight. I wonder what's next. A lot of people are wondering what's next, and... Personally, I don't think Ho is going to be replaced immediately with a new legendary, but I guess by the time this video goes up, we'll know better. We'll see. I guess there's no use speculating since I'm I'm late on the uploads. While I was just getting settled in to do some editing, another egg's hatching. Come on, give me your alts. All right, time to edit. <laughs> 